where flowers bloom, so does hope. And this is exactly what Ferns and Petals has managed to achieve over 27 years of its operations. From just one flower shop in Delhi, Ferns and Petals has expanded to become the largest florist chain with more than 386 stores across 120 cities and towns in India. It is truly a brand of Bharat. It all started when Vikas Gutkutia, while studying in Kolkata, used to help his uncle with his flower business. This is where he developed interest and trading skills in being a florist. I belong to a you know florist family basically. So when I belong to Kolkata, so we had a flower shop uh, which was owned by my uncle, and I had some idea about how the flowers are being sold and everything in Kolkata. So the basic education about the flowers happened there, and I happened to visit Delhi, and I realized that. This city has no good florist. All the flowers have been sold from roadside. That there are no air conditioned shops. Whereas, whereas in Kolkata we had air conditioned shop. So I thought, uh, you know, it's a good idea to open an air conditioned shop and give them the deserving service because the current flower scenario is not great. So that was the trigger. In 1994, he opened the first store of ferns and petals in Delhi's South Extension locality. The air-conditioned ambiance and varieties of flowers drew customers to the store. After getting a good response, he expanded into other regions of Delhi and thus the journey of delivering happiness continued. But it wasn't an easy task. He faced many challenges while setting up the shop, from technology issues to delivering fresh flowers in hot conditions. Gradually, the focus on expansion came in with the help of the franchise model, which was just gathering steam in India. Being an unorganized industry, there are a lot of teething problems about the guys who will do the flowers, the salespersons, the technology, nothing was there. And even mobile phone came much later. So we used to work through pagers. So uh, we, I tried to expand the shops by having a you know working partner module who will run the shop and I will probably invest the money and it's a brand and we opened seven eight shops but then I realized this is working partners and uh, keeping track on you know every cash sale which was very difficult so I thought uh, maybe uh, we can go through a franchisee route and by that time. I think uh, we had become popular, seven shops, and we were the only retail chain. So a lot of people started approaching us that they will take a franchise. The franchising business has just took off in India during that time. So it was a good coincidence. So the franchising world magazine was launched at that time. So they also promoted us. So we opened a couple of franchises in Faridabad, in uh, Karol Bagh, one in Chennai also. So we realized that going further, the only way to grow is to have a Coco, which is company-owned, company-operated. Today, Ferns and Petals has emerged as a reputed brand with 11 verticals under its umbrella. Apart from India, it is also present in the UAE and Singapore. It closed the fiscal ended March 2021 with a top line of 400 crore rupees. And that's all thanks to its marketing and diversification strategy. The brand does not use TV commercials. Instead, it uses various social media campaigns to attract its target audience, especially millennials. The Ferns and Petals brand has grown massively. Some of its other verticals include FNP weddings for event planning, FNP venues offering vast spaces for celebration, FNP media a new digital content house and FNP Last Journey for funeral and cremation services. When it comes to different SKUs, the company has expanded into cakes, personalized gifting items, plants and much more. There's always a quest with us, what's next? And we thought that flour uh, is probably a, 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 a commodity which is for high-end users 
and people want value for money they want to want the gift to last they want the gift to enjoy eat and cake has always been part of our celebration in whether it's birthdays or anniversary or wedding or whatever so we kept on adding different items to our uh, uh, our skus so the cake happened after that and then we got into personalized gifting where we could print names and pictures of people on various gifts when we kind of started delivering good number of cakes we realized that that's the time we should have our own cake production cake outlets so uh, 2017 2016 17 we kind of uh, we started fnp cakes and more which which we have almost 130 40 outlets in many cities now and is the fastest growing cake chain in india Today Ferns and Battles commands one third of the organized flower market in India and has the largest chain of wedding venues in Delhi NCR. In order to increase its market share more, the company is in advanced talks for fundraising from private equity investors. The PE investment will be managed and advised by Motilal Uswal and will be in line with the growth prospects such as branding activities acquisitions and technological advancement the company also plans to expand into saudi arabia malaysia indonesia philippines the united kingdom and russia in the near future in september 2021 it rolled out its first ever employee stock ownership program worth 2% of the company's outstanding shares The first set includes 35 plus eligible employees under the program as a reward for consolidating and strengthening the company's leadership position. We are going to move into a next phase of a very very highly engineered flower shop which will which will probably be you know uh, each shop will be a trademark in itself. So so that strengthening of the brand will happen with lot of new processes and uh, technology as far as uh, cake is concerned i think going forward uh, we uh, we are called full walas as funds and petal going forward i think in couple of years you guys will start calling us cake walas because we intend to open maybe one shop a day in a year's time so we will probably have thousand old outlets in 3 years so we are very very optimistic about our growth and uh, we believe that uh, good talent and technology with uh, with uh, uh, always uh, something new to offer is a deadly combination it is working very nicely for us during the lockdowns ferns and petals pivoted to contactless digital gifting options introduced personalized video messages and also made wine purchase possible from its online shop See, this musical video message has been requested by Abhishek ji on Father's Day. Wishing you a happy Father's Day, and here is the special song for you. Papa kehte hain bada naam karega. It aims to achieve a CAGR of 25% for the next four years. The company's journey so far has not been without thorns. from logistical nightmares to creating a market of its own but ferns and petals has managed to bloom and how